Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your September 2020 monthly Psychic Tarot card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. And I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. And there is a free birth chart calculator at the very bottom of the description box below. It is a really good one. And it helps you with these kind of readings. And now your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Six of Pentacles, Pisces, Moon, and Taurus. This can also represent a Libra as represented by the scales. This is the give and take of money. There's harmony. It's others sharing with you in a just way. It's good things coming to you and going out from you. It can be the approval of a loan. This is money owed, will be paid. Prosperity should be shared with others. This is a win-win situation. Dispensation, giving and receiving, equality and fairness and gifts. This is, could be using your money to make more money. It's financial flow and charity and assistance. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Two of Pentacles, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Earth energy. Now this is Jupiter in Capricorn. This is the ability to handle two situations at one time and achieve success. It's the infinite possibilities as you're handling life's ups and downs and going with the flow. It's keeping your good sense of humor. It's life undergoing change. And then it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. This can be two situations. Being incredibly busy has to do with material concerns and balancing priorities. This is a change in financial matters. And being flexible enough to keep everything moving. It's a favorable change. It's being resourceful and flexible and adaptable, accommodating. Your hands are full and life is moving fast. This can represent upper back pain. Six of Pentacles or the Two of Pentacles is being busy with work. It can be entertainment, part-time charity work. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Strength. This can represent a Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Leo could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Again, we have the Cosmic Lemon Skate, Infinite Possibilities. And now there's Courage, Determination, and Inner Strength. This is force of character, spiritual power, overcoming material power. Love triumphing over hate, the higher nature over carnal desires. This is a test of fortitude, moral courage and fortitude. It has to do with the spiritual nature and wisdom and compassion and having the inner strength to accept yourself. It's quiet confidence instead of dominance, openness instead of determination. Gentleness can hold a greater strength. This is a person facing problems with confidence and hope. And the lion symbolizes passions and anger as well as desire. This is allowing them to emerge and then taming the lion through love and belief in their self. It's allowing negative feelings to come out in a positive way. And it tells us not to fear our emotions. It's going with those feelings. This is a union of desires. There could be hidden feelings. It's faith in yourself that will pay off. It's strength and fortitude. The Six of Pentacles with the Strength card represents someone that is a strong leader. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Eight of Cups, Pisces. Water energy. 
This is a card of Saturn in Pisces. Saturn brings in our restrictions and delays, our toughest lessons, our limitations. And this is an emotional turning point. It's moving on. It can be travel. This is the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. It's a shift in someone's life. From being involved in doing things with others and now you need some quiet time and a chance to be alone. It's following your dream. It's can be someone that's close to losing all hope in a romance and they may walk away from it. There's our dreams and visions that are not immediately obvious, make up of a valuable part of our feelings. We need to let them help our consciousness and our powers of discrimination grow. It's okay to start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. It's going with the flow and following the flow of energy that not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. You know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. What once was important is no longer. The Six of Pentacles or the Eight of Cups is, are you getting all you want? You're maybe seeking balance. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Two of Cups, Pisces, Water Energy. Now, this card can be a love match, a partnership, an attraction, a very strong union, especially the beginning of one. You both have the same things in your cups for each other. It's respect and sharing, equality, there's a deep connection here with harmony and balance, emotional support, trust, and understanding. It's dealing successfully with strong emotions. These are basic energies, important feelings. And at times they can be in conflict with each other or complementary. This is a bonding. It can be a passionate love affair. It can also be the beginning of a prosperous business relationship. It can be a commitment or an engagement. It's a talking things over. It can be a letting go, even a reconciliation. And it's remembering that shared joy is twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. It's taking note of feelings to make a decision. The Six of Pentacles with the Two of Cups is balanced interactions. The Two of Pentacles with the Strength card is a conflict a standoff, its infinite possibilities, handling life's ups and downs with strength and faith. The Two of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups is trying to sustain and reluctant to walk away. The Two of Pentacles with the Two of Cups is a connection or a conversation with someone you made a friendly or romantic connection with, maybe even on the phone. Two twos in a reading represent a chord. Your strength with the Eight of Cups is controlling inner urges. It's overcoming obstacles to your dreams. And that's two eights in your reading, which represent new knowledge. Strength card with the Two of Cups is a strong relationship. The Eight of Cups with the Two of Cups is seeking a soulmate. And I'm being guided to tell you that the uh, 8 plus 2 is 10. That's an ending and a new beginning. And now for your Vice Versa Tarot card. By Lunia Weatherstone. The Ace of Cups. This side, water energy. The Ace of Cups is a root of water energy. Divine influence here. And it's this side. We behold a great fountain set in a tranquil lake. It is shaped like a chalice, with five sea serpents spilling water over upon the lilies below. 
These streams symbolize the five senses and the five oceans of the world. The water, water lilies represent peace and enlightenment. A woman is sculpted as emerging from the heart of the chalice. The presence of a dove tells us that she is Aphrodite, goddess of love. When you get this side in a reading, the ace of chalices represents the gift of love. Chalices are the suit of emotions, visions, and dreams. The beautiful fountain and its goddess are a sign that the blessings of happiness are at hand. Nothing more is required from you other than to be ready to receive them with thanks. And thank you guys, Pisces, and I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.